principles and methods of scientific research have led to the discovery of new worlds. With a mandate to pursue and promote world-class scientific research at the frontiers of science and engineering, the Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research JNCASR was established by the Department of Science and Technology on the birth centenary of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru in 1989 with Professor C. N. R. Rao as the founding president. It was recognized as a deemed to be university by the UGC in 2002. JNCASR is deeply committed to its mission of delivering world leading research and education in the field of science and engineering and being agile and open to the challenges of the next generation. From the beginning it was conceived, it was developed in a very, into a very new model by our founder president Bharat Ratna Professor C. N. R. Rao. Uh, the idea was not to have big departments with uh, varied areas of research but to have small units, highly focused, highly interdisciplinary kind of work doing, uh, doing in research. Uh, on this campus we have a DST funded technical research center. This center has been fostering patenting, technology translation and we already have several startups which are founded by our faculty colleagues. JNCASR offers academic programs which include PhD program, Master of Science program, Engineering and Research, Integrated PhD in Material Science, Chemical Sciences and Biological Sciences. With a multidisciplinary approach, JNCASR conducts research in units and have resulted in many brilliant discoveries and innovations. The new chemistry unit, NCU, works on interdisciplinary aspects of chemical science like chemical biology and interfaces of chemical science with materials. The groundbreaking achievements of new chemistry unit include development of cost-effective cyclabel and efficient catalytic materials for the conversion of carbon dioxide to methanol development of antimicrobial coatings which can be coated on different PPEs and other biomedical surfaces with potent activity against viruses, bacteria and fungi. The Chemistry and Physics of Materials Unit CPMU, studies physical and chemical phenomena of novel and functional materials at atomic and molecular levels. Among its many achievements, CPMU has developed Raman spectrometers for diagnostic applications in diseases without PCR amplification, developed artificial retina concept for interfacing organic semiconductors with retina explant tissue to elicit light response in blind eyes. We introduced these polymer films instead of uh, where the receptors are not working and uh, we get to see some action. It's a very interesting research project which uh, an eventual goal of uh, repairing uh, uh, dysfunctioning photoreceptors. The Molecular Biology and Genetics Unit MBGU conducts research in the areas of infectious diseases, cell and molecular biology, developmental genetics and biochemistry assimilating inputs from physics, chemistry, materials science and engineering. Some of the achievements of Molecular Biology and Genetics Unit include Breakthrough in Stem Cell Biology, which includes an identification of the gene ASRIG and demonstration of a new concept of endosomal regulation of stem cells. Given the structural complexity of biological systems, JNCASR's Evolutionary and Integrative Biology Unit EIBU, is working towards synthesizing vast amounts of information into a holistic understanding of how living systems function and evolve. EIBU has successfully done experimental and theoretical work that has led to a change in the paradigm of how we understand the evolution of adaptations to crowding in fruit flies. The Engineering Mechanics Unit EMU, is renowned for its research on a variety of problems of fundamental and applied interest in fluid mechanics, nonlinear dynamics, heat transfer and solid mechanics using a wide range of analytical, numerical and experimental techniques. 
In partnership with Bangalore International Airport Limited, the unit has developed a program which helps predict the onset of radiation fog. Development of standalone aeroponics system for high-value crops or breeding. One of the JNCASR's major contribution during the COVID-19 pandemic has been the development of mathematical model in collaboration with IISCs, which would provide accurate state-wise projections about the evolution of COVID-19. Seeing the data set, they were able to make a mathematical model to predict the progression of disease in India. This particular exercise helped the administrators in uh, preparing the country for medical supplies and uh, mitigation of many of uh, uh, COVID-related impact uh, in the country. Seeing as how 54% of the land in India is prone to earthquakes, the geodynamics unit of JNCASR focuses on tectonic processes of the Indian subcontinent by assessing their role in molding landscape and environment and their hazard potential. The Neuroscience Unit NSU, established in 2014 is the most recent addition to JNCASR. The achievements of Neuroscience Unit, identification of neural circuit involving a thermoreceptive ion channel and circadian pacemakers in Drosophila. The scientists of Theoretical Sciences Unit aim to address, explain and understand the rich diversity that is observed in the physical world and thereby use this understanding to predict new phenomena or design new materials. Some of the achievements of Theoretical Sciences Unit include establishment of a strong connection between two widely different approaches to adaptation namely population genetics and quantitative genetics, finding of a new model system which exhibits quantum critical mod transitions. JNCASR's Education Technology Unit was established in 1996. In line with the Department of Science and Technology, mandated scientific social responsibility, the ETU develops engaging multimedia CD-ROM packages as well as books in numerous science subjects for use by teachers and students. Its achievements include development of several school as well as college level chemistry and physics experiments kits, organization of workshops and outreach programs for rural and urban students, establishment of chemical heritage exposition which houses working models, engaging stories of renowned chemists and audiovisual facilities. Bharat Ratna Professor C.N.R. Rao, the founding president, has received the Vaughan Hippel Award for Materials Research, the Dan David Prize, the Queen's Medal of the Royal Society London and a host of other awards for his pioneering work. Having completed 31 years, JNCASR with its cutting-edge research has created an identity for itself. The center's resilient efforts were recognized in the field of patent-oriented research and development and IP promotion and was awarded the Indian Patent Office IPO Motivation Award in 2015. The center already has granted 31 patents from foreign countries and 7 patents from India. The center has successfully licensed 14 inventions and has been generating royalty from them. With JNCASR committed towards groundbreaking research, it also ensures that the research reaches its rightful beneficiaries. This is where Technical Research Center comes in and takes the inventions from lab to market. The TRC also partners with industry to foster industry academia collaborations. JNCASR is the first institution in the country to envision an All India Fellowship program through which bright young minds at the undergraduate level get an opportunity to taste the flavor of research. JNCASR has undergone a substantial transformation from being a limited research facility to establishing state-of-the-art laboratories with modern instruments and other needed infrastructure. Its outcome is clearly reflected in terms of the quality and quantum of research output. As it grows further, it is envisaged that JNCASR will clearly establish itself as a hub of high-quality research and continue to be among the best in the world. 
having flourished under the guidance of the Department of Science and Technology, JNCASR, was ranked 7 among the top 10 worldwide list of academic institutions in 2019 by Nature Index Normalized Ranking. The Department of Science and Technology is completing 50 glorious years in the service of the nation through science and technology. This journey of relevance and excellence has not been a solitary one. All our autonomous organizations have played a critical role in driving forth with quality and focus and speed in their respective areas. They have excelled in their pursuits. I wish all the autonomous organizations and their scientists a very successful future. The future is coming at us at faster and faster speeds. I'm sure you'll be fully prepared to meet the challenges and create new opportunities and work for an Atnirbhar Bharat that can be proud of its s depth and spread. Mm -hmm.